news has been dry but I got some now let's talk about it Gochi Suda, creator of No More Heroes, who's leading development in No More Heroes 3, has came out on record in saying he would like to bring several of his classic titles, including The Silver Case, Killer 7, Killer is Dead, Flower, Sun, and also Rain. Yes, those are all separate titles. He wants to bring them all over to the Nintendo Switch. He also admitted that the decision to bring these games over is not only of his own. Those titles that he worked on are attached to the IP of the owners of those games and he will be discussing things with them. So maybe they can come, maybe not. Who knows? Stay here, tuned at IGI, where we will cover the updated info as it progresses. Also in today's topics, a new patient, or patent, I think it's patent, Forgive me. A new patent that Sony Field revealed it was some sort of dynamic music creation in gaming. There's been a lot of new patents. I keep saying patients. There's been a lot of new patents that Sony's been showing off recently, from weird buddy systems to a system that will tell you tips of a game to even telling you how to beat a boss you're stuck at and how long it'll take you to beat the game. With based on beat the game you're playing based on statistics. The system receives by literally watching you play. In this new patent, it talks about music creation dynamically, which could mean a few different things, like, like a share button on the PS4 now becoming the create button on PS5 DualSense, would meaning the create button will be used for streaming and creating clips like you can use on the PS4. However, maybe with this new patent, they have the possibility to add your own music this time with trailers that you can create with clips and all different kind of stuff. When it comes to music, maybe you make your own music on the PS5, maybe you don't, maybe you add your own music in for trailers. There's a lot of speculation on what this could actually be and mean. Some are saying it's possibly a music generator video game for the PS5, um, DJ Hero, and all this other stuff. It's very interesting to say the least, so... That's all we got there. In December 2019, 2K announced that their studio is working on a new entry to the Bioshock series. Back in December, they also stated it would be a few years till we see the new Bioshock game. However, Upgrade Tech has been doing some research digging with the new remastered versions of the Bioshock collection. And he also managed to dig out a website called There's Always a Lighthouse.com where you can punch that in your web browser, see for yourself a speck of light, and rumors are. This is where the new Bioshock information will be after it's announced, but just don't expect it anytime soon. Paradise Lost is an emotion-driven mystery game. You play as a 12-year-old boy dealing with grief, searching for meaning when the apocalypse hits, and it's all about the post-war of World War II. It was revealed for the PS5, PC, Xbox, Series X, and there's no word on Nintendo Switch port or previous generational consoles, including PS4, PS3, and Xbox One, X, and all that other things. The targeted ETA is around the launch of these newer consoles, which is the quarter three of 2020, and the choices you make will gradually affect the game and its story as it unfolds. As the information of its reveal is still new and fresh, we can expect more information in the future near its releasing window. And the last bit of news that we're going to talk about today is a Reddit user named AG Cook created a full game project. If you have the Super Mario Maker 2, you can now download this Super Mario Maker 3 The Lost Levels fan project, where he literally creates an entire Mario video game using the Mario Maker 2 game on the Nintendo Switch, the Super World Editor, which was also an update that they did. The Super Code will be in the description of this video. Super Mario um, Bro 3 Lost Levels is a continuation of his own personal project that he started with the first Mario Maker video game. This game aims to capture the classic feel of the original Super Mario Bros, upholding the most of the same aesthetics, feel, and design rules. The goal is to give players a pleasant and relaxing experience playing and hopefully give the impression of playing an actual new set of Mario Maker 3 classic levels. It's a very traditional, nostalgic focus. Best enjoyed by taking your time, exploring alternate routes, and discovering new secrets, and etc. You can find the Super World by typing in the code that will be in the description below. And with that concluded that wraps up today's video i know news has been dry we are scraping up the barrel of the news as always we will cover the news here at ngi make sure you smash that like and hit that subscribe button god bless and peace